Hi everyone, I'm Ellie from Code of the Future and today we're going to look into automated text messaging. So there's this trend that's been going around on TikTok where people have been sending, you know, entire scripts of Shrek and the B movie, entire films to their best friends or to their friends as a prank. So I thought as an introduction to automated text messaging, I would actually do a tutorial on how you can do that. But I would just like to say before I start this video, please use this responsibly. Don't go and uh, spam all of your friends because you may get your accounts blocked. So we're going to get started straight away. I'm going to put my glasses on as usual and I'll move you onto the screen. Okay, so the main idea behind this video is that I'm making it more accessible to anybody who hasn't coded before. So the first thing I'm going to say is right now I'm in PyCharm. Um, which is this little thing down here. Now, if you've never coded before, there is a tutorial on my YouTube channel that tells you exactly how you install PyCharm. It is so easy. Um, I'll put the link in the description box. So once you've watched that video and installed PyCharm, then you can get to this stage right now um, and do your first bit of code. But for everybody else, I'm gonna you know jump straight into the video. And like I said, we are in PyCharm. So the first thing that we need to do in order to do this automated text messaging and sending this you know message to somebody is we need to create a text file. And in this text file, we will have the message that we want to send. Okay, so if you are on a Mac, you're just gonna type in text and then edit comes up and we're just click, gonna click enter and we're just gonna click new document, okay. So this is where we can create our text file. Something that is worth mentioning though, um, if you go into text edit and just go into preferences, you want to make sure here that you're in plain text, not rich text. Because for this tutorial to work, you need to have .txt, and if you have rich text, it will say .rxt, I think. Um, so just make sure this is ticked here and it says plain text. Okay, so this is gonna be your text file and this is what you're gonna input in, into here. So to start with, I'm just gonna put a hello, you know, five times, just to get us used to creating a, a given text file. And I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna save it onto the desktop, desktop and I'm just gonna call it, um, I'm just gonna call it message. Okay, and we click save and there we go. And notice here it says txt, so it's a text file. Um, and in fact, I could just pop there message.txt just so then when we recall it, we know it's definitely a TXT file, okay. So we've done that, we've created this message here. I'm gonna leave it here for now, just in case we wanna add some extra things. Obviously when we want to start um, adding a whole entire script Shrek in, <laughs> we're gonna need it. So I'm just gonna take this that we've saved and I'm gonna move it into the folder, which is this one here that I have in this in this Python file. So something that's worth, you know, really worth remembering if you're a beginner, if you're gonna recall a specific file, you need that file to be within the folder that you're programming in. So here where this folder is, I have the automated messaging Python file and this message text. Um, so just make sure that you've moved your text file into the folder that you're coding in, okay. Perfect. So now we've done that, we can actually do some coding and the coding for this is so incredibly easy. It's literally maybe like seven lines of code. Honestly, it's incredibly easy. So we're just gonna put, we're just gonna put automated uh, text messaging and we're gonna say import relevant modules. So if you have never coded before, this is just somewhere that you can import given modules that allow us to do the code that we need to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is import time. Now time is simply just so we can give some time once we've clicked run for this Python file and then it will start doing um, the operations. And then we're also going to import pi auto GUI. Now, again, if you haven't, if this comes up with red and you don't have them imported, the way you do that is go PyCharm, preferences, and you're going to go into the project here. This will be your folder. You click Python interpreter, and then you're just going to click the add up here. And this is just to install the given module. So you're going to type in pi auto GUI, and here we go. I have it, you know, already installed, and this is the one that you need. And similarly with time, I think time is actually already um, installed into ordinarily into Python, but if it's not, then this is where you'll do it. You just type in time. Okay, perfect. So that's how you import, install these given modules. So now let's do some coding, because <laughs> this is probably the longest tutorial I've done without actually doing some coding straight away. So the first thing we're gonna say is def san send message. Okay, and what this is doing is it's creating a function um, if you've watched my video on functions, you'll know what that means. But again, if you have never done any coding whatsoever before, just write exactly what is here and it'll do um, exactly what you know you want it to do. So we've defined this send message function and we're gonna put some things in this function. So the first thing we're gonna do is use the time module. So we're gonna say time sleep and put maybe, we'll put four in here. So what this is doing straight away is it's saying, you know, once we recall this, this function here, 
Python will not do anything for four seconds. So this is kind of when the Python file will kind of stop um, following the next line. So this here will literally say, Python, just pause for four seconds before you continue to process any more of the lines of code. Okay. Then what we're going to say is text equals open. And in here, we're going to input our text file. So here, if you haven't saved it as message or whatever you've saved it here, you input that here. Okay, and this is literally just opening this text file and assigning it to the variable text. Now we're going to say for each line in text, we're going to get pi, also GUI. So this is where we're using this um, module that we've imported. We're going to typewrite each line. So what this is saying is for each line in this given text, it's going to typewrite it. And then we're going to get pi auto GUI to press enter. Okay, so what this, this is really key here. This bit will press the enter button so that it will write a line of the text, press enter, then write the line, press enter. So without this, it will literally write the whole script out without pressing enter. So you need to make sure you include that. And then all we're gonna say, finally, and this is literally the end, we're just gonna say send message. And that recalls this function. Okay, so that is literally it for the coding. Um, and I'm just gonna explain what, what this does. So Pi Auto GUI, and this is something that I'm just gonna move on to talk about. Pi Auto GUI has access to your screen and it can type things. This will depend on, you know, if you click run, it will probably say you need to give access to your screen. And that is simply because what's gonna happen when you run this Python file, you'll move on to the place you want to write. So let's say we have a note, if you click, it will do the writing, it'll press enter and do that. So what's great about this tutorial is it's not just for text messaging, you can do it on Facebook, anywhere, you click and then it will type. So something that's worth noting, you need to go into your system preferences. If you run this file and it comes up and says, we don't have access, then you can say grant access or another way you can do it is by going onto your Mac, going system preferences, going into your privacy and security and then here where it says accessibility you're just going to tick pie charm here okay and we're just going to close that okay so we're going to run this and see what happens so we run and then it gives it four seconds so we're going to move on to the place that we want it to start typing and look at that so something that's worth remembering is you have four seconds to run so click this green button here and then move on to wherever you want to send you know write it um, four seconds again you can change that to 10 seconds and then you've got plenty of time you can find where you want to text uh, things like that so there we go it's done a note what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my messages up so this is a message to myself that's why there's a lot of highs just so I've, i'm not showing you what my phone number is and we're going to click run so move on to messages click where the iMessage is and hopefully in a second it's gonna there we go Oh, it's shown my te it's shown my number as well. I'm just gonna block that out so you can't see it. <laughs> so perfect. There you go. So what you what you need to do now, if you want to spam your friend the entire script of Shrek, all you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Google Chrome and you're gonna type in Shrek script. Here we go. Click on this, and there we go. You have the entire script of Shrek. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight for as much as you want. I'm probably just gonna stick to about that much um, just to show you what it does. You're gonna copy that into your text message. It's gone a little bit crazy, but that's purely because I've just minimized it. We'll save that text message and we're gonna just stick to the notes just because it's, a, it's quite an easy example. We're gonna move the pie charm back here. We're gonna run this file again. We're gonna click on notes and watch what it does. See, what it's doing there is it's doing the spaces. So be careful whatever you copy. Um, if there are a lot of enters, it will probably type, you know, do the things. So that's what you're seeing here. You can see it doing the spaces. Okay, so a way that you can stop it from running is by simply clicking force quit here and it just does it. And that's because you're pressing enter, so it stops it. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what it does for a message. So we'll go back onto my messages. So now I'm going to show you it with text messages and how it works with text messages. So we're going to click run and we're going to make sure our cursor's there. So this is a text to myself. Um, I haven't done it on any of my friends just yet. Um, and there you go. 
The reason why it's doing the double is because it's sending to myself. Um, but this will literally do it for your for your friends. Ideally, I'd tell you to get a, and I'm just going to quit it. Whoa, there we go. Um, ideally, I would get a script that doesn't have a lot of spaces in, so you notice it's actually typing out the spaces. So that's something that is just worth bearing in mind. You know, perhaps get a, a script that when we open this up, there isn't all these kind of gaps here. You know, it's all to the side. So that's something to you know bear in mind but that is it that is the video you'll, you'll probably um be hated by all your friends if you go do this <laughs> but i just thought it's the nicest way of using the pi auto gui module and the plan for this channel is to include a little bit more about pi auto gui i've actually had quite a lot of fun experimenting with the things that you can do with pi auto gui um it's quite cool to be able to kind of get your computer to do things without even touching the keyboard just by you know writing some code which i think is pretty cool so that is the video i I am, like I said, going to do some more Pi Auto GUI. Something I'm going to say is please use this responsibly. Don't go spam all of your friends because they may hate you forever. But what I'd say is, you know, don't don't stick to an, an entire script because it's so long and it will probably take up a lot of storage on your phone anyway. Um, and similarly, if you do it on things like Facebook, if you don't have a Mac, if you do it on Facebook, please be careful because you can actually get your account blocked. Um, by sending too many messages. So like I said, please use this responsibly. I thought this was a great introduction to automated text messaging. And like I said, I'm gonna do a little bit more about Pi Auto GUI on this channel. So subscribe so you don't miss out on any of those videos. I've also actually been doing some TikToks as well um, for the Code of the Future channel. The link will be in the description box to all of my social media links for this channel. I've essentially been showing you some very cool kind of mini Python projects and mini coding projects that you can be doing, as well as just some other cool facts, uh, general facts. So if you are interested in coding or anything like that, then make sure to go follow the TikTok and Instagram as well. I use Instagram stories a lot to ask my followers, you know, what videos, you know, so this video is actually the one that wanted to be released first before the facial recognition video. So that's what's coming after this video is the facial recognition tutorial. Um, so I use Instagram a lot to ask, you know, my subscribers and my followers what content you want to see. So if you have Instagram, please go follow the Instagram just because I want to make sure I'm releasing content that my subscribers want, you know, not just followers on Instagram. So please go follow the Instagram and, and I can figure out exactly what you want to see. But that is the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you all in the next video.